Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Uh, today we've got a 2008 Corolla ZRE 152 and uh, has the engine light on and customers complaining of the car shuttering. Sitting here right now I can feel uh, it's misfiring and that's just in park. We'll put it into drive. See the engine lights on, 151,000 Ks. Um, do have the scan tool plugged in. Um, not sure if it's going to be 100% needed. I'll just, uh, it's, de it's a, it's like it's got a dead hole, you know, it's running on three out of four cylinders. So, first thing that we may want to do in a case where it has an absolute dead hole, um, you know, it could, especially at idle, um, usually it would come up if we turn the car on, so we've got a dead hole, misfiring. If we bring the RPM up, then it does feel a bit better, but it might just be running fast enough where, you know, we can't feel the misfire. But what also that might indicate if it does smooth out, it could indicate low compression. So, in some cars, if you put your foot flat to the floor on the accelerator, It'll put it into basically clear flood mode crank. Um, you know, if the bores are washed, you have leak injectors or whatever, and you need to get the car started, it will put your foot right to the floor. We will stop the injectors from firing. So we'll see if that works here. My foot is flat on the floor. No, unfortunately not. We'll try it one more time. No, okay. So we'll just drive it in the workshop and um, do a cylinder drop test. Pretty easy to access the coils on this car. The cylinder drop to see which coil, uh, which um, cylinder is not contributing. Probably swap the coils because uh, it's going to be easiest. It doesn't always have to be high tech. We'll swap the coils over and uh, go from there. So here we are, guys. Um, hopefully, you can hear the engine misfiring. You might be able to see it. Um, but basically, what you want to do is just go one by one and unplug these coils. You can hear that makes the change. Sort of need a screwdriver under there. It's a bit difficult with one hand. Again, big change. Um, we can smell what smells like fuel coming out the back. Um, so straight away we can almost, you know, get rid of a, an injector issue. Again, struggling with one hand. Okay, so no change on that one. Oh, it does change. Okay, interesting. We'll check the fourth cylinder. <sighs> Jesus, one second. So it definitely seems like our issue is with number three cylinder. Um, one, two, and four all make dramatic differences um, to the way this car's running. This number three makes a bit of a difference, so maybe it's like partially contributing. So maybe it's you know a weak coil, not a completely dead coil. Um, 
in, or you know maybe it is low compression a little bit in that cylinder um, I think what I'll do I'll pull it out and just inspect the coil and, and inspect the spark plug and we'll just swap both of them and see if it, see if it follows so we've now swapped the coils so this coil is now was here and this coil was here so if our culprit is the coil we can hopefully disconnect that again absolute struggle town with this I just leave that sitting like that. <sighs> I wish Toyota would make easier connectors for us one-handed folk uh. okay. we definitely need a coil on this one you can hear that it doesn't make much of a contribution mm. maybe I'll name this video how to struggle to take coil connectors off okay it's definitely contributing a little bit not not a heap though um, I will get a coil ordered and we'll bang that in um, I'll have a look on the history of the spark plugs um, maybe it will get a set of spark plugs as well. So I got the plugs out guys. Obviously number three that we thought was our culprit. Not great. Obviously lots of fuel on the end of the uh, electrode there and, um, and on the ground. We can see that that one's not burning properly where the rest are all got you know, that nice white crispy clean looking burn. This spark plug not looking great. We've not ever done the spark plugs. We've been working on this car for 30,000 Ks since 120,000. Um, looks like they have been changed before. So looks like, you know, coil failure um, or maybe maybe they were changed just before it got to us um, a bit overdue and that's, you know, put wear on the coils prematurely. Not, not too sure, but either way, gonna get a set of spark plugs and it's gonna get one coil and uh, that should fix this one up nicely and I'll show you that afterwards. We'll uh, clear the codes, take it for a drive, make sure it's still good. And that's the fix guys. Um, we've got our new set of spark plugs in there. We've got our coil, we put it back in cylinder three. Um, just so it, you know, is where the culprit cylinder was. New coil. Just like that. Coil not doing its job properly, causing this fire. You know, we do go through quite a few of these coils. Um, you know, it always, always seems to be when spark plugs are left overdue, but just what it is, I guess. Um, doesn't always have to be fancy. But, you know, we did this one without a scan tool, I didn't even read the codes in it. Um, yeah, if anybody's wanted to do this at home and you have coils that are able to be accessed like this, this is how you do it. Nice, quick and easy one. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Thanks for following me. Please like and consider subscribing to the channel and uh, catch the next one guys. Take care.